How to make sagaloo. Sagaloo is a popular spicy side dish made from potato and spinach that comes from northern India. It's easy to prepare and tastes delicious. We teamed up with award-winning chef Shahina Ali of the Maharaja restaurant Benfleet to give you a step-by-step -step guide on how it's done. This recipe serves four and there'll be a full recap at the end. Firstly, we're going to add some oil into a frying pan. Put that on a, a high flame. Then add some onions. Make sure that the onions are separated and start to cook through. Once you start seeing it turn a see-through translucent texture and quite soft in, in texture, you find that they're starting to cook and ready to add the rest of the ingredients. Next, add the dry spices. including the chilli. Give that a stir. Lower the heat slightly to a medium flame so that you don't burn the dry spices. Make sure that all of the onion is coated thoroughly with the spice mixture. So then add the ginger and garlic paste. You find that the onions start to really soften up and turn a deep golden brown colour, partially from the cooking as well as sometimes from the spices. Okay, if you find that the onions start to stick to the bottom of the pan, add a little bit more oil, tilt the pan slightly to disperse that, and then add the spinach, little by little, so add half of that, give that a stir, make sure that it's coated in the onion mixture. The spinach will start to wilt, which is exactly what you want to achieve. So you can see that the spinach has started to reduce in size because it's starting to wilt. Um, when you see half of that spinach starting to wilt and release some liquid, you then add the rest of the spinach. So really mix that in. And at this point you've got a very wilted spinach mixture which is combined with onion and spices. Now, you can add a little bit of lemon juice to this, which I'm going to do. Once that's done, add in the potatoes. You could parboil the potatoes if you wanted to cook this much more quickly. So, fold the potatoes and the spinach in with each other. And of course, you can add more chilli powder to this if you want it much hotter. So, all of the potato pieces should be coated in the spice mixture and each of the sides of the potato cubes should be golden and slightly crisp in texture. So leave that to cook uncovered on a medium to high heat for at least 10 minutes. This is done now. You've seen that the potato is golden brown on each side and the spinach has wilted quite substantially. So serve that up. Serve it including the green chilies that we added earlier because that adds the fresh bite to the dish. And garnish with some unchopped fresh coriander leaves. Done.